Let us pray. Every head bowed and all eyes closed. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, it's once again we call on your holy and divine name. Not coming to you for a shape, form, or fashion, nor an outside show to the world. But Lord, we come in the ominous and the sincere manner that we know how. Father, we come giving you praise and thanks for blessing our eyes to come up and to see another day. A day that you have made, let us be glad and rejoice that you did. Father God, for that we say thank you. And then, Father God, we want to thank you that for just being who you are. Someone that will never leave nor forsake his children. Someone that will be there when everyone else turns their back and walk away. You are still there, Father God. Even through our disobedient times when you told us to go right, and we went left. Father God, you didn't change on us, we changed on you. But yet and still, you still didn't leave us, Father God. You kept on blessing us. And that's what I to say thank you. Father, we ask for forgiveness of our many sins. Because somewhere along the way on this journey, Lord, all have seen and come short of the Lord, which is your glory. But we place the sins that we ask forgiveness for, Father God, at your feet. That they will be taken by you and cast it into the sea of forgiveness forever. Thank you for being a forgiving father, Father God. If you haven't been someone that go around holding grudges, day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year, we would have been cut off a long time ago. But Father God, we thank you for being such a father, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you remember the sick, the careless, and the unconcerned. Those that don't know you from the free part of their sin. Those, Father God, that walk around day by day, never giving you praise and thanks for anything, thinking that they are breathing the breath of life on their own. Father God, we pray that their mind and their hearts be touched before it's too late, Father God. All glory to your mighty name. Lord, remember those that are incarcerated in the jail cells and behind the walls of different correctional facilities. Strengthen them, Master, that they will come to know that you still love them, that there is a better way of life. And the better way of life is surrendering all that they have unto you, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you that one day you made a change within me, Father God. Boy, I was headed down the wrong road. But Father God, you made a great change in me. Oh, you made a change in my walk. Change in my talk. Change in the way I was loved and greet my brothers and sisters, Father God. Glory to your mighty name. Father God, we ask that you just continue to bless the new life in Christ church family, Father God. We need your strength. We cannot make this then, Father God, for the man that's going to break the bread of life before this morning, we ask, Father God, that you use him in the way that you will see fit to use him, Father God. Lord, we speak healing in your name, Father God. We speak blessings in your name, Father God. We speak lives being changed in your name, Father God. Oh, glory to your mighty name. Now, Father God, these blessings we ask in thy name. We name in thy name. We claim in thy name. We speak them in thy name. But most of all, we hold on to our faith. We never give up on our hope. We believe it. We receive it. And we count it down and work out in your mighty name. We do ask and pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
give God some praise. Because listen, the devil don't want nobody to praise him. The devil don't want nobody to praise God. This
my ministers to come to the roster. No, 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 come on up here. That's right, come on, fire. 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 Y'all have no idea how much I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to keep saying this. They kept the church moving forward in a, in a just a fiery and mighty way. Yes. Yes. If y'all will take a look at the monitor. This is what I mean by we stand behind it. We support it. That is the new life of Christ Christ. church is like a burgundy color. That's the color the red should be. He said, no, sir, it needs to be red. <laughs> so it's red. <laughs> but we bless God for the many things that he's doing. Amen? Amen. And while I'm here, we thank God for Miss Julie Lewis. You stand up, please. All right. <laughs> She has been working tirelessly on the New Life of Christ website, updating stuff, getting things ready. Um, listen, I can't thank you enough. Listen, after she's done, maybe four or five things, she says, Pastor, this is what I've done. Here's the link. Go check it out. And I'm here to tell you that it's super. Amen. I'm happy. Amen. I didn't even know we had an app, y'all. And the app updates you when we have a Bible study. It Hey, Bible study is going on, gives you the link and everything. Amen. So thank you for your hard work and your attention to detail with that. We gonna take, I told you, we're gonna take this thing and run with it by storm. Amen. Amen. Okay. Can I get you to give me a scripture? Can I get you to give me a prayer? All right. Can I get you to write it all in the name? All right. <laughs> <laughs>
after God has done something that we would consider tragic, that we would consider terrible. Yeah. But it was still for his glory. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We dealt with the hands-on approach as far as what do we do as individuals? How do we get through what's next? Yeah. Today we're going to preach this sermon. We're going to tie these two sermons together. We're going to finish this thing out. But I thank God for what he's getting ready to say. Come on, God. Amen. If you would turn with me to Exodus 14. Come on, come on. We're going to read verses 11 to 15. But again, just like last week, this whole pericope, this text, tells the whole story of what God is trying to get us to see. So my prayer is that you read it in your own personal time so that you can gain a better understanding of what God is trying to say to us in these times. Amen. Amen. Exodus 14, 11 to 15. And it reads, well, hold on. Is everybody there? Amen. Listen. Mr. Lewis, I appreciate you. Amen. Amen. I told you we going we gonna use this thing to the to this till it just go out. Amen. That's right, we're gonna get it. Y'all y'all come on in before I get started. I need I need y'all to catch what's getting ready to be seen. Come on, God. Exodus 14, 11, 15. We there? Amen. If you just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're not there, say hold on, preacher. You shouldn't have to look in your Bible because it's up here. Amen. It says, and they said unto Moses, because there are no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? It's not, it's not the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. Uh -huh. For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. Uh -huh. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, uh -huh. which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Watch this. The Lord will fight your battles. Yes. If you just hold your peace. Yes. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cries thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, oh, neighbor. Where, do we go from here? where do we go from here? Come on. <laughs> Say it again, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Where, do we go? where do we go from here? From here. Oh, my little boy. Where do we go from here? Amen. Amen. I thank God that every day that I wake up, that He's still on my side. Come on now. Yes. 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 Don't you, if you don't say anything else anywhere else, you should have said something right there. Yes. Because first of all, who is it that wakes you up in the Come morning? On, Come on who is it that starts you on your way? Who is it that blesses you when you don't even see it coming? So I thank God that He's always. On my side. Not only is he always on my side, but I thank God that he's always fighting for me. Can I tell you why you don't have to worry about people when they lie on you? Because God will vindicate you in the end. Can I tell you why you can unbar your fears? Because God is going to fight the battles for you. The text here said it, just hold your peace. Watch this. Some translations say, be still, shut your mouth. If you can just follow those three commands, I promise you, you'll see how God can make a way out of no way. Be still. See, a lot of times we do too much moving and talking and going on. That ain't got nothing to do with half the stuff that we got going on. Tell somebody, hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Work 
working out. But when you start talking, you start talking yourself out of the blessing that God has for you. You'll even talk yourself out of the victory that you already have. Oh, because you want to go your way. When we look at this text today, Jojo, we was up here too long last week. No, we wasn't. <laughs> I know we wasn't. I'm just you talking. Free, free right. But when we look at this text, the circumference of this text, the nucleus of this text, we see that Moses is taking the children of Israel out of Egypt mm -hmm. to deliver them to where God wants them to be. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you read the text before, you see that the children of Israel were slaves to the Egyptian people. Yeah. Yeah. God didn't want you to be enslaved to anybody. Come on, preacher. Watch this. Beyond the time that you needed to be enslaved to somebody. Amen. Can I can I can I go back? Can I go back? Yes, yes, yes. We were enslaved to the white people too long. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be racist, I'm just telling the truth. And you see how we end up getting free. They didn't even want us to be free. Yeah. We look at this text. We all know how we got to this point. Amen. Moses was a fugitive and God turned him into a freedom fighter. Do y'all hear what I say? Yeah. I'm saying here to tell somebody this morning that no matter what it is that you're going through, yeah. Whatever it is it may be, no matter how bad, how rough, how tough it may be, that God can take you and turn you into anything yeah. He needs you to be yeah. for His glory. Yeah. God took a bush, gave it humanistic traits, yeah. and talked to a man. Who was out of touch with God. Watch this. Whatever God needs to do, he'll do it to reach you. So come here, Moses. Wait a minute. Bush, you're not even supposed to be talking. They say God can take anything and do what he wants to do to get his own. Meaning that he could take simple old me, yes. you, and anybody in this party no. to get to his glory. Amen. Doesn't Amen. matter how bad things may seem to be, doesn't matter how bad you might say it is in your mind, God can use anybody yes. and use them to get his message across yes. and for his glory. Yes. He says, go down and tell Pharaoh that my people go. Yes. This is my favorite part of this story. He says, who am I to go down and tell somebody like Pharaoh to let your people go? I don't even know who you are. And when you think about it, listen to this, and listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. God can be whatever you want him to be. Yes, yes. Let me say it this way. God has many nicknames. Yes. Because he does so much. He would never relegate himself to just one man. Yes. He said, tell him that I am sent you. Yeah. Watch this. If you take I am with you wherever you go, by the time you have gotten to where you need to be, you'll come up with a name for God. I know him to be a doctor in the midnight hour. I don't know about y'all. I know him to be a way out of nowhere when my back was against the wall and I couldn't see my way forward. Do I have any witnesses down here today? I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a lawyer in the courtroom. When they lied on me, when they talked about me, and all he did was step in right on time and vindicate me. Tell somebody I got a name for him too. I got a name for him too. Freedom. Come on, man. God told me to tell you. Yeah. Did, did y'all hear what I just said? He gets to the entity that he was afraid of. Yeah. And says, God told me to tell you to let his people go. Y'all right. right. missed that, so let me give it to you another way. Anybody in here ever seen the movie Friday? Y'all remember that scene in the movie? Now, okay, this is where the sermon dynamic has changed. I want y'all to talk to you. Okay. Y'all remember that scene in Friday? Where Red went down there to tell people he wanted his bike back to take his dad with him. He said, Pops is tripping. What else did he say? I want my bike back. 
were so caught up in the fact that they had it good being enslaved to the Egyptian people that they got mad at Moses for setting them free. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. You better There's some people out. that have been enslaved to people all their lives and get mad at God when God sets them free. Okay. Amen. Yeah. We don't want to get no amen. Yeah. 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 Somebody from in the crowd said, Moses, why would you take us away from Egypt? You brought us out here to die. You brought us out here to kill us. Let me stop. Right here. Where did we go from here? Pastor Lomax took this church to high. Did he not? Yes. But then God called him on the glory. Yeah. I wasn't ready for how this transaction or this thing happened. Right. But God called me to be here. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm not going to change nothing. I'm just going to add to it. Dr. You got to pray for it. Come on now. Come on here. To my graduates who are throughout this room today. You at a Red Sea right now. Right. You just graduated high school, yes. and whether, even though you may have a plan, you still don't know what you want to do. Right. Right. Am I talking to anybody else? Right. 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 Matter of fact, we all at the Red Sea at some point in our life. Right. We don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. We got to learn to trust God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You brought us out here to die. Uh -huh. Had it not been better for us to stay where we were? <clears throat> Let me help somebody. Absolutely not. God is not a God of way making for you to stay where you Come are. Every time He makes a way, it benefits you better than it did the last time. Come on now. God will not leave you in a place to be conquered, to be demoralized, to be dehumanized, Amen. for you to be like, I bless you, Lord, for all that you've done for me. No, 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 no. God will make a way for you to praise him. So they get to the Red Sea. Help me. The Red Sea experience is like driving through a neighborhood with a cold sack. It's only one way in and one way out. <laughs> the difference is the neighborhood you get to come back out the way you came. See, with God, you got to go through it. <laughs> Tell somebody to live through it. It's bad right now, but you're going to be all right. Tell somebody to grow through it. The very things that are said to kill you are meant to give you strength. Tell somebody to live through this thing. It's going to get a little crazy along the way, but you're going to be all right. I dare you to look at the person next to you and say, you can live through it. You can live through it. Can I tell you how I know you can live through it? I'm sitting in a room full of survivors today. You can live through it. Now, let's talk about this Red Sea just a little bit. God will bring you to something sometimes to make you realize that you're not able to do what you think you need to do to get through it. Come on, right. you better pray. What you mean? Woo. When you see water, the first thing you think about is the fact that either you can or you can't swim. That's why I didn't go to many pool parties until I was in the boat. I'd be down on the shallow end with the kids eating the cake, cake yeah. and all their feet. But in the spiritual life, that's what some of us look like. Amen. On the shallow end, kicking our feet. When God says, if you're going to go to the next level, I need you to get through this deep. Amen. But, I'm going to make a way that you ain't got to swim through it. Yes. Watch this. You're going to commonly get through it how you commonly do through your daily activities. Yes. God says, stretch out your rod. If you follow God's direction, your life will be real simple. There's a lot of us in here struggling right now because we haven't done what God told us to do. 
Y'all ain't got to say amen. I see it all on y'all's faces. Stretch out your rod, Moses. God is telling y'all to stretch out your rod because it's time for y'all to part ways with certain stuff. Here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I had mentioned the fact that they're going forward and the enemy is behind them. Did y'all hear what I said? In this Christian life, we go forward while the enemy is behind us. God said, don't look back. Keep your, keep your eyes straight forward. God, remember what happens when you look back. People turn the pillars of salt. Sometimes you see stuff that you think that you need to go back and get. No, God said, keep your eyes straight forward. God stretched, Moses stretched forth the rod, God part of the sea. Can I be prophetic right quick? Come on. We're about to walk in some places that our feet shouldn't have no business being. A lot of people didn't say amen because a lot of people didn't fall I said, we're going to walk in places where our feet are commonly not supposed to be. I think y'all got it. Every time I say it, y'all get it. We gonna walk in some places that our feet are not supposed to be. I'm just testifying about me. I never thought I'd be a master student. I didn't even like school. I was glad to be out. I, mean, I graduated with my master's in October. Watch this. Only to walk in a place where my feet don't belong. I'm gonna be a doctor in the spring. get back to this thing. They started going through. Now let's talk about this. Because if you realize there are parts of the sea that are so deep that if you were to actually be there, your lungs would explode because of the pressure of the water and the pressure of the deep surface that the ocean has. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is why I say God will make a way out of nowhere. Come on now. Yes, he will. In the deep of the, yes. in the, deep of the blue ocean, no way. But God still Come on. made a way. Yes. He parted up sea, and they begin to walk. Watch this. A lot of times we see stuff, God do some amazing stuff, and we get afraid. We don't move. This is the season where you can't be scared. Y'all listening to me? Where do we go from here? This is the season for somebody in this room where when God does something that blows your mind, you cannot be afraid. College graduates, God's getting ready to open some doors for y'all. You can't be afraid. Amen. That's right. Where are you at? You, you. Yes, you. You can't be afraid. All my graduates are here. You cannot be afraid. To the people in here, you can't be afraid. God is calling you out of your comfort zone in this season. No one's going to talk about that. So they went on through. Tell somebody it's dangerous to be an enemy of God's people. It's dangerous to be an enemy of God's people. Period. See, that, that's what all of y'all should have started shouting right there. Because I heard God said, I'm getting ready to deal with all the enemies that you have that's been chasing you down, running you down, talking about you, scandalizing you. I hear God said, I'm going to deal with it. So they went on through the red sea. Put this back in my head. Come on, man. <laughs> and as they went through, watch this. The enemies followed them through too. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God that He takes the appropriate, necessary measures for me. Yeah. What I mean is, is that He's a gentleman. He waited till we all got out of the water, yeah. and when the enemy got through there, He closed that thing up. And 
she would hear me say this, she would probably thump me in my forehead. But she would tell us, keep on. I'm going to put you out. That's the same thing you got to tell your enemy. Now. Keep on. Hold on. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Now, I'm going to put you out. But God. You got to pray for God. You got to pray for God. Y'all still ain't catching it yet. Come on, man. Keep on. Lying on me. Keep on gossiping on me. Keep on scandalizing my name. I ain't worried. Want me tell you why? Because God. Because God don't play by his people. by his people. But God can do way much more than I can because his hands are much bigger than me. Keep on trying to dictate how my future is going to be. This is for the people that's graduating and the young kids are trying to move on in life. Because I done heard too many people say, oh, they're going to be this, they're going to be that, and there's nothing positive. We got to get to a point where we start speaking life. Yes. 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 Not just over these kids. Thank you, Lord. Over within ourselves. Yes. 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 That's right. And everyone around us. Yes. You going to make the band. Come on. All right. Yes. 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 You got the anointing. You got the anointing. You got the anointing. I can look around here. You being a DJ, you're going to touch a lot of people's lives. Just touch mine. God is calling you out of your comfort zone. Mercy. And it's deeper than what you think it is. Mercy. I'm just saying what the Lord wants me to say. There's a lot of us in this room today that God wants more from. You just got to step out and not be afraid. Y'all listen to me? Yeah. 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 They went through the water. Now that God was in here. Y'all know what that means? Yes, he did. That no matter what you're going through, you're going to make it out all right. All I came here to tell somebody today is that no matter what you go through, how bad, how sad, how rough, how tough it may be, as long as you trust God, you're going to be all right. Let's sum this thing up. God took Moses from being a fugitive to a freedom fighter for his purpose. Uh huh. Spoke to him through a bush. Said Moses, go down to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Yeah. Moses said, Who am I supposed to be? Go tell an entity like Pharaoh to let his people go. He said, I am sent you. Yeah. Mm. That's him. Yeah. Because God says, Call me I am, and whatever you put at the end of that I am. Yeah. That's what I mean. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. I am healed. Yes. I am the little. Now I come. I accept you. Yes. I am not what you thought I was. Come on, put I am more than what you think I am. Yes. yes. I am going to be all right. Make it out of this tough time. You better pray. Not just me, I'm talking to anybody. Just Amen. That's right. right. I am. That's right. Say it, baby. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> he goes down to Pharaoh and says, Pharaoh, let my people go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He lets him go. Besides that, I want them people back. When God sets you free, yeah. uh-huh. yes. 
You're not supposed to go back to the end. Where do we go from here? We don't go back to the enemy because yeah. God doesn't waste the blessing setting us free for That's us to waste right. going back to where we shouldn't be. Where do we go from here? We cross, we go through things that we don't think that we can make it through as long as we hold God's hand. That's how you get to the other side. Yes. And the people who were our enemies. God said, you're not going to see him no more. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You should have shouted right there. Hallelujah. Because I thank God that some of the people that used to be my enemy, I don't see them no more. Now. Amen. 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 The doors of the church are open. Maybe you don't have a church home and you're looking for one. I wouldn't put it off because no one knows what tomorrow will bring. Only God knows what the future holds. I would make up my mind right now. You can join our letter, watch care, Christian experience. However that the Spirit is leading you to do so. Will there be one? Don't worry about who you're sitting beside of. Because the day that you stand before the judgment bar, you got to stand there by yourself. Mother won't be able to stand for you. Father won't be able to stand for you. Neither sister or brother. You got to stand there by yourself. And I just think about the two books. When you're born into this world, your name is written in the book of life. But when you stand before the judgment bar, I think about the record book that God has of you. He's got everything in that book. See, I can't grab Brother Chris and say, Lord, take him first because he cussed out 199 people and I cussed out only 99. You've got to stand there by yourself. To God be the glory. Does anyone desire prayer? Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, as once again we call on your holy and divine name. Father, we want to thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Because if it had not been for your love, your mercy, and your grace, Lord, where would we be? Father God, we thank you for being so good to us. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Father God, we ask that you hear all these prayer requests. Some are requesting prayer for one thing, and some are requesting it for another. But Father God, we know that you are able to deliver. Because on the third day morning, the grave couldn't hold you down. You got up with all power in your hand. You got up because you loved us. You got up there will come times that we will be facing different situations that we wouldn't have the strength enough to face by ourselves. Father God, truly your joy is our respect, Father God. Lord, heal the blind and they will bless the sea. You heal the lame and they will bless the walk. You heal the dumb and they will bless the talk. And then And only one came back to thank you. But the one that came back to thank you, he was not only here, he was truly blessed. Yeah. Ah, on, to your body, man. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, we know that you can make a way where we can't see a way, Father. Lord, we are needed, we are trusted. We are totally dependent on you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus. These blessings we ask in your name. We name in your name. We claim in your name. We speak them in your name. But most of all, we hold on to our faith. We never give up on our hope. We believe it. We receive it. And whatever the situation is, Father God, we count it done and worked out. In your mighty name, we do ask and pray. Amen. 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 to uh, get ready to uh, take up our tithe and our offering. And after that, Sister Judy Lewis will have our announcement.